I have never turned the key over on this thing. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Wow. That was the absolute first time ever turning the key on a brand new motor. She fired right off, right off. What is going on, y'all? I'm Captain Jody with Bayou Bandit Charters. We're not fishing today. We are up at my dad's shop. Got the old Bayou Bandit up here. And uh, this video will probably air on my birthday, July 31st. So time for an upgrade, y'all. That old Honda 150 has been a good, reliable motor for me. It is always cranked up. It has always got me back to the dock with me and my clients. But it's time for an upgrade. All right, let's get the old case out. Open this thing up. I put a teaser out on my Facebook group. And I had some close guesses. None of them was exactly right. They definitely boxed this thing up good. All right, let's see what we got. Suzuki, y'all. Going with a Suzuki. Suzuki 200, 200 fly-by-wire digital gauges. Let's get this baby on out of the box, see what we're working with. Look at that baby y'all look at that four blade 20 pitch white 25 inch shaft brand new suzuki 200 baby i have never ever owned a brand new outboard motor this will be my first ever new outboard motor so we're gonna continue to get her on out of the box, show y'all a little bit more. It's crated up real good, welded mounts in there, got her bolted down. Hopefully everything else is in there I need. My controls, my binnacle, my gauges. see what we got in this box owner's manual oh the bolts I I was hoping the bolts would come with it awesome much of parts for the prop very expensive tool kit. Even got a primer bulb, y'all. Got another box over here. It's taped up. They did an excellent job getting everything where it doesn't move, rattle around. Remote control box. All right, here's all the guts. There's my binnacle. There's my gauges. Ooh, this is gonna be fun, y'all. There's the, the digital readout. Woo! Kill switch. Man, look at that, y'all. Wonder how long it'll take me to get that all beat up. <laughs> Hopefully a while. All right, we got the crate unscrewed. Oh! Woo! Thing beautiful. That thing is sexy. All right, y'all. I didn't want to film the whole process of taking the old motor off, everything. Uh, it's almost four o'clock. It's 
It's been about three and a half hours. Got all the Honda stuff off. I've got all these holes to deal with from all the Honda stuff. The uh, speedometer, RPM, all that. So I've got to plate over that for all my new gauges. Uh, everything's pulled. Honda's off. Got a bare jack plate there. Got my hydraulic cylinder hydraulic steering there all right first time taking the cover off of her we gotta see our anchor points try to get the cover off without scratching anything at all good all right let me unlock this one all right <laughs> look at that girl right there that's a beauty you sexy. All right, y'all, a little update. It's nine o'clock. We got the old Suzuki 200 mounted up, y'all. Boy, it was tricky getting it in the right position, working around that uh, tower, that platform up there. But we got it, me and my dad got it. He's over there cutting out panels for me for my life. I got lucky. My intentions being I had old Honda stuff on here going to Suzuki. I thought my intentions was having to put a new panel in here, cut all new holes, everything, and do a whole bunch of work. But I started looking, that Suzuki gauge, that smart gauge, fits in this hole where my other gauge came out. So that mounted perfect. My binnacle mounted exactly where my other one was. And my key switch, kill switch, it did the same. It all fit right where all my Honda stuff was. Now I do have this open in here. Uh, <laughs> what I've got for now is I got a cup holder, y'all. It fits in that hole good and snug. Uh, if y'all got any suggestions on anything that would be cool or would look better than that, y'all let me know. I can probably throw some keys in there, stuff like that. Use it as a little storage tray. Drill me a little hole in the bottom where it doesn't catch water uh but if y'all got anything better any ideas that would be better to cover that hole let me know so that's going to be the setup y'all uh everything should work good i got clearance for everything i can see my gauge good past the steering wheel uh not doesn't touch or affect anything so i think that's what we're going to go with y'all uh really impressed with suzuki on how everything mounts it's easy it's simple i do have this uh computer that i have to mount on the inside of my console and everything's plug and play y'all uh this is it y'all this runs the whole motor this one this one wire this you know it's a couple of wires but it runs the whole motor no shift cables to worry about no shift cables to worry about kinking and breaking over time that's it y'all i mean we've got we've got the power going to the batteries and we've got this one cable that's it y'all that plugs right into here you run it and you're done uh don't even have to take anything apart to hook up the fuel line it's right there y'all slide the hose on put you a clamp you're good to go so that's what I'm fixing to start working on now. Running all the wires, dressing everything up, tidying everything up. I still, uh, they ship the motors dry, so I still have to put the engine oil in there. And, uh, and yeah, a couple of more hours, I think uh, we'll have it all buttoned up. All right, it is Friday morning. Uh, what we're gonna do this morning is we're gonna put engine oil in the new Suzuki 200. It is bone dry, it's shipped dry. So we're gonna put uh, nine quarts of Suzuki motor oil in there. This 10W40 Marine. The Suzuki dealer that I got my oil from buys in bulk and puts it in the gallon containers uh, to give me a little cost break. I checked the price on Amazon. It was $45 a gallon. I can get that through my Suzuki dealer for $29 a gallon, which saves me money and that's what I like. So we're gonna put oil in this engine for the very first time. We're gonna hook the motor up to the muffs. 
see if she'll bust off and then I'm gonna switch it right back off I want to make sure all my wiring is good before I button everything up dress everything up and we'll get that taken care of and then we'll move on to our light lighting panels they're saying nine quarts I'm gonna put eight and a half in to start with and then we're gonna check it if you look on the specs it shows like 8.6 8.7 something like that for the uh, <clears throat> capacity so we'll see I don't want to put too much in it all right y'all first time ever turning the key on this thing we got the oil in it I put eight and a half quarts in it where I can check it uh, we're gonna see if it'll bust off first time ever y'all have never turned the key over on this thing let's see what happens let's do it wow wow that was the absolute first time ever turning the key on a brand new motor she fired right off right off I'm gonna bump it in gear, make sure all that's good on the cables. All right, we got forward. We got reverse. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. We're gonna switch it off. She's idling, purring like a kitten, 700 RPMs on the gauge. Woo! Now we can get everything buttoned up. Man, she sounds good, don't she? <laughs> All right, everything's complete with the motor. Everything's buttoned up. Callan's on her. She's looking good. Got all my wires run. Everything cleaned up. Ready to go, y'all. Gonna take her on the river tomorrow. Run her, see how she does. I'm running a four blade, 20 pitch prop on there. Hopefully that's going to be close. We will see. I may have to end up getting another prop, but hopefully that will work good. So next thing I'm going to do, fixing to start right now, is uh, these lighting panels. If y'all had watched the video on me installing these five-star LEDs from Victor McNew, you saw uh, that I bolted them with U-brackets temporarily to see what I wanted my adjustment to be. So now I'm going back, got all these panels cut out. My dad cut all those out for me while I was working on wiring on the motor. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bolt these panels up. That way if I ever need to access stuff, change anything up, I won't have to cut welds. So we're gonna bolt those on. And these lights will be flush mounted from the inside in these openings it'll look real nice real clean look i don't like these exposed wires it doesn't look custom anymore since i'll change these lights out all right guys we just got back to my house we got the suzuki 200 mounted she is ready to roll all the gauges on looking sharp looking good got all my lights finished i put my panels in i flush mounted all of my five star leds from victor new all but these front two i've got something uh in the works here something's gonna be a little bit different for my for my front two lights so stay tuned for that that's gonna wrap this video up tomorrow morning we're putting her in on the river we're gonna run her for about eight to 10 hours, do a full complete break in on it, get her ready to go for my upcoming charter trip. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned if y'all wanna see the break in procedure on a new motor, that'll be on the next video. Thank you. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you hadn't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Thank y'all, see y'all on the next one.